We ready? Happy Sunday morning and happy Veterans Day. Amen. So welcome everybody, all those of you that are joining us by audio or video. We welcome you. We ask that you prepare yourselves. Amen. To receive, God has something great for you. Amen. And all those that are watching or hearing, I wanted to say a happy Veterans Day for all those of you that have loved ones that have served, uh, given their lives. We just want to say thank you for your service time. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. I had the privilege of uh, spending a few years in, uh, in the military. I enjoyed it. I miss it. And every time I get a chance to put my uniform on, no. I do it. And it makes me feel so good. Uh, I'm proud. Uh, people see it. And some people frown. Some people smile. And uh, But inside me, in my heart, I feel great. You know, yeah. it, it was a time when it, it, uh, it just blessed me to do it. Uh, it was an honor to do it, you know, and I still feel that way. And it just never goes away. I guess it's just something God puts in there for you. And yeah. uh, it's great. Now you say, uh, well, uh, I'm not a veteran, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I, I, I don't celebrate. But you have freedom. Yes. <laughs> you live in a free country. You live in the best yeah. country. Thank you, Lord. In the best country. If you don't think so, just try going somewhere else yeah. and do what you do. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and see what goodness. happens. <laughs> it won't it, it won't go. Amen. So yes, our freedom affects everyone. Amen. Yes. And the men and women that have given their lives and serve, you know, to protect our freedom. Amen. So yes, it affects affects all Americans. Yes, it Amen. Does. So praise yeah. God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Prepare yourselves. I'm excited. Uh the Lord has a great message. He always does. Yes, he said, does. Well, how can I help you, Pastor? We're praying. Yeah. Right, because the enemy is always busy trying oh, yeah. to stop the message from going out. Amen. Amen. So, you know, instead of uh, sitting there and saying, well, we're going to judge and see if he's going to be good. <laughs> instead of saying that, say, let's oh, pray for pastor so, he can, so God can use his messenger yes. to deliver his message. Thank and the message Lord. will just come out. And I am going to take that message and let it affect my Amen. life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And then you can also say, um, I'm, I never served in the military. But if you're a child of God and you're born again, uh -huh. you're in God's army. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So you need to prepare yourself. You need to prepare yourself. Grab your Bible, grab your sword. Yes. And look at it. Because Amen. all the instructions are right yes. here for battle. Yes, it is. If you don't prepare yourselves, <laughs> the enemy is going to have you. Uh -huh. So we're going to be talking about these things. Uh, as a child of God, as a soldier for God. You need to know the word and be filled with the word so the fear can go out and the faith can come in. Amen. And you can go on and complete what God has called you to do. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And of course, uh, well, before I get any further, let's prepare ourselves. Grab your swords. Yeah. Grab your Bibles. And say like you mean it. We're going to put it up on yeah. the screen for all those that are watching. Oh, Read it with me. It's coming. There it is. Yes. This is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can, I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. I don't want to be the same. I want to change. Change is good for you. Yes, it is. You know, uh, insane is doing the same thing over and over and over. Year after year after year, day after day. And expecting this, you know, mm -hmm. the same results. You get oh, the same yeah. results. You know, you want to change. You yes. don't want to do the same thing. That's you right. Know, you expect a different results, but you're going to get the same thing. Uh -huh. Amen. So we need, we need, we need to change. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Every time I get a chance, I let you know, and all those of you that are listening and watching it, a church alive is worth the drive. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So come home. We serve a living God, not a dead God. Amen. 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 You don't see him on the cross. That's right. He's no longer on the cross. That's he right. said, he, he, they took him, he was buried, but then he rose again. Yes. Amen. And they saw him leave. Yes. Okay, they saw him leave. Disciples saw him when he, when he was taken up. So praise God. Yes. I thank God. He says he is seated at the right hand of God. Yes. Uh, a place of authority. Yes. And he's there interceding for us. Yes. Believe me. We all need some prayer. Amen. Amen. Lord. <laughs> we, we never we never arrive, so we all need prayer. And he's there praying for us. Yes. And you know, when you feel lonely, uh -huh. and when you feel like you can't carry on and you can't make it anymore, he says, cast it on me. Yeah. I'm here for you. And if you yeah. feel lonely, it's mainly because you haven't spent time with him. Mm -hmm. yes. We need to make time Amen. to spend time with him. Amen. Yes. If you're not spending time with him, it's not his problem. It's our problem. Yes. Right. Amen. 
We need to come to Him and bow down to Him and say, Father, here am I. Yes. I need you. I need your strength on a daily basis, not just once in a while, yes. but on a daily basis. Amen. I guarantee you, this world is just going to suck all your strength off of you. Oh, yeah, it will. And you're going to see the problems and you're going to see the giants that are facing you on a daily basis. Yeah. And if you don't have Him, mm -hmm. you're going to fall. And yeah. it's not because it's His problem, it's because we didn't prepare ourselves. And we're going to be talking about preparation. Amen. Amen. Happy Veterans Day. <laughs> I enjoyed uh, serving for quite a few years, 20 plus years. And uh, I enjoyed every, 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 every moment of it. And I still miss it, but now I'm in God's army. Amen. Yes. And you know, a good, I, I am retired military, but you really never retire because That's right. you always want, want to serve and you want to give your best. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just read you a little thing about uh, Veterans Day here. Let me see. Go to the next slide. Honoring all who have served. Let me read you this. Today we honor men and women who have served in the military. Jesus cried. The Bible said Jesus wept. So if you hear Pastor wet, 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 cry, it's okay. <laughs> we <laughs> honor those. Yeah. Who have died for the cost of freedom. Yes. Or you can say, honor our heroes. Yes. The ones that never made it home. Yeah. The ones that never came back. Mm -hmm. Or came back in a box, in a casket. Those are your heroes. Yes. Why they did it? <laughs> because they loved you. Because they loved their country. Yes. A time for us to say thank you for the sacrifices, sacrifices they made. A time to think about the freedom we enjoy because they were willing to serve. Yes. It is a time to think about love, the love they showed for their country and Their fellow man. Yes, thank you, Lord. Most important, church. We should never forget and honor our greatest hero, our greatest veteran, Jesus. Yes, yes. Amen. amen. He came and he stepped out out of heaven and came to earth, knowing that he was going to be sacrificed. But he came anyway, and he gave it his all. Yes. Some of these people, when you go to battle. <laughs> You know something's going to happen. Mm. You may not come back. That's right. You already know that. Like Pastor Pat said a few minutes ago, tomorrow is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. When you go to battle on the side, it's not time to back up. It's time to mm -hmm. step up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen? It's time to step up. Our greatest vet, Jesus. He is the greatest veteran mm -hmm. of all who fought for our salvation. Yes. And he won. Yes, Amen. Did. A lot of people don't know this. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, salvation is a free gift. Yes, it's it a is. gift. He gave it. He took it all, and it's a gift. All you have to do is receive it as your Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. A lot of people don't think they gotta buy their way. They think they gotta Amen. earn their way. Mm -hmm. It's not about earning and desiring these things. It's about giving and receiving. Give yourself back to Him. Yes. Amen. You know, He paid a price that we cannot pay. And we don't want debt. We cannot pay. Yes. But you could you could give yourself back to Him. He says we have been bought. We don't belong to ourselves. We belong right. to Him. We belong. So Lord, I belong to You, Father. I just yes. want to give myself back to You and fulfill the call that You have for me. Yes. As a matter of fact, our message is step out oh. and answer the call. Yes. Oh, wow. and answer the call. Yes. And He's calling every one of us. So don't exclude yourself and include yourself. Because you're in this too. It's time that we know that He's calling us. Amen. And He calls yeah. us on a daily basis. Yes, and He, he comes and knocks just to fellowship with us. And sometimes we don't answer the call. Mm. We need it's time to answer the call mm -hmm. and be there for Him. <coughs> because He wants to use every one of us. Yes, he does. You know, every part of this body is used right. and works. And it works and functions in unity. Yes. That's what He wants His 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 
the body of Christ to function in this world. He's the head, we're the body. Yes. And he wants us to work together in unity, yes. come together and do what he's called us to do. Amen. He didn't exclude anybody, he included every one of you. And he put gifts in you that he's not taking back. That's right. You may try to exclude yourself, but he says, I call to you. I put those things in you. Now you use them. Amen. You know, whatever you put in you is to bless somebody else. Yes. So use it. Amen. Amen. Wow. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank Lord. you. So salvation is free. All you have to do is receive it. Every day is the Lord's day. So we honor Him. That's right. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> we should honor Him every day. Yeah. The Bible says in Psalms 18:24. If you don't have it, write it down. If you have a Bible, mark it, highlight it, underline oh, yes. it. Just personalize it. Amen. Put your name on there. Yeah. Mine says this. This is the day the Lord has, Lord made. has made. Let us rejoice oh, and yes. be glad in it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mama. Yeah. Yeah. It says, yeah. this is the day the Lord has oh, made yeah. for Jose. Yes. Rejoice, Jose, yes. and be glad in it. Yes. Put Thank your you. name on there. Yeah. He's made it just for you. You know I woke up two great gifts this morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my eyes. Oh, praise God. <laughs> when I open my eyes, I say, thank you, Lord. I answer the call. Just answer the call. He's calling you. Yeah, he yeah. woke you up. Yes, he did. One day you may not. <laughs> but the two greatest gifts that I opened this morning, my eyes. Amen. To be able to step out and serve him and see your beautiful faces. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. So what do I do? If you if you never celebrated before, you fly a flag, remind others, we honor those those that we have served. Mm -hmm. Spend some time in prayer. Give God thanks for those who have served to defend our freedom. Amen. So it affects everyone. Freedom affects everybody. Yes, it does. Somebody was sacrificed Amen. for your freedom. Amen. Right. Observe two minutes of silence. Concentrate on remembering those who have died, defending the cause of our freedom. Yes. Those are the heroes that never made it back. That's right. Thank you, Lord. They gave it all. And you'll see in a few minutes, you wear a poppy. A poppy is a red flower, which is worn in remembrance of those who have died in this yes. country. Go to the next one. Next slide. Lord. I appreciate that. Parker, he's doing a great job. Yes, he is. Veterans Day, honoring veterans, past, present, and future. Yes. Thank you for your faithful service. Yes, amen. We don't forget them. That's right. Right. Amen. They may be gone, but we don't forget them. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Jesus is gone. We don't forget him. That's right. He's coming back, he says. Right. And he never died. He died. He rose again. That's right. Amen. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So, I want you to be encouraged, I want you to be blessed, and I want you to change. You know, we have plans for ourselves, and that's fine. But when you come to Jesus, you find out He has plans for you. Yes, He does. And you decide His plans are much better than our plans. Yes. And when you decide to follow His plans, yes. it's a lot easier if you follow His plans than try to follow yours. Yes. It's much easier to please him than try to please the world. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you're never going to satisfy the world because the world wants to beat you down, oh, yeah. tear you down, and they're jealous. And they don't want you to succeed. That's it. God wants you to succeed. Yes, he right. does. He wants you to succeed. Step out. Answer the call. I told you this a few minutes ago. Jesus stepped out of heaven. His father taught it. They taught. This is Jose. He said, I want you to go. I want my people back. But I need to send you and sacrifice you. Will you go? He didn't say no. He could have said no. I said, hey, no, no. I'm going to give him heaven first. You don't know what I'm saying, people? <laughs> when you answer a call on a daily basis, do you say, yeah. I don't want to go in that sinful world? <laughs> but he put you here for a reason. Yes. He's the head, we're the body. Mm -hmm. And we go out into that world. Wherever you go is your mission field. Yes, it is. And you're going to fulfill what he called you to do. But you have to spend time with him. Feel yourself and know who you are. 
When David saw Goliath, he didn't back down, he stepped out. Right. Amen. He stepped out because he knew God was with him. Yes. He knew God was back at him. He knew who was back in him. Yes. And he knew who he was in Christ. We need to do the same thing. Yes. But we get it, need to get full of him Amen. and get the word in us. Because when we get full of it, it's going to come out. Yes. So Amen. don't see yourself fearful. If you see yourself faithful yes. in doing what he's called you to do. Amen. Faithfully, I want to do these things. Mm -hmm. So step out as Jesus. Step out like Peter. You know, Peter was in that boat and he saw Jesus. He says, wow, I want to come out there, Jesus. He says, come. He's called us to the world. And you see Jesus out there. He gave himself for the world. He said, I want to come out there. He says, come. The world is there for you. I need these people. I want these people back. And you're coming out and you're stepping out. Amen. Amen. Everything's stepping out. Christians, it's time for Christians to step out. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. He, the disciples, the rest of the disciples were sitting there in that well and they didn't say anything. Mm. They just kind of sat there quiet. <laughs> they didn't step out. They didn't say anything. They said, Don't say nothing. We already talked about David. When he saw the giant, he stepped out. We can do the same thing. Yes. So I answer a call. A call to what? A call to battle. A call on a, on a daily basis. A spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. If it's a spiritual battle, you can't fight it in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And we're going to read some scripture here in a few minutes. If it's a spiritual battle, you need to be in the Word. And the Word needs to be in you. And the Word needs to come out of you. Amen. Okay? Yes. When the Word comes out of you, mm. now you have authority. <laughs> yeah. And that authority is going to go out. And yes. it's going to tear down. The yeah. strongholds of the enemy. Amen. Amen. Because the enemy says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, he will flee. 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 Okay? He's not going to stay around. He ain't going to want to play with you. That's and he ain't right. going to say, this person's changed. Yeah. I got to go somewhere else. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I got to go next door. <laughs> Don't be that person next door. If you That's do, make right. sure you're ready. Go to the next slide. Remember. Mm. Oh, my gosh. And I am proud to be an American. Where at least I know that I'm free. I won't forget the men who died, men, women who died and gave the fight to me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. A couple of scriptures. God is calling us to be all we can be. See, we get in that comfy zone. <laughs> we get in a zone where we just feel good and easy and we don't want to move but he's called us to fight the good fight of faith yes he did <laughs> can we do it yes we can and give our best two scriptures first one is first timothy 6 12 says fight the good fight of faith okay? amen <laughs> lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses amen. So he's called every one of us to yes. fight the good fight of faith. On a daily basis, you will fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you have to renew your mind with the word of God. Feed yourself yes. the word. Feed yourself the words. Your spirit, man, feed it the word of God. Amen. Renew your mind with the word of God and crucify your flesh because your flesh wants to rise up. Flesh wants to get in that little comfy zone. You know what? Uh, what time the Cowboys come on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ephesians 16 also talks to us about putting on the whole armor of God. Uh -huh. We need the whole armor of God. Amen? Yes. We need those things. And uh, if you haven't read it, it's time to go read it. Just go to Ephesians chapter 6. And go from uh, chat, uh, verse 10 yes. through 18. It tells Amen. you what to put on. Amen. Amen. It does. We don't have to wear this big armor uh, like uh, Goliath had on a, a soldier, a warrior had. But we put on the whole armor of God. And we're talking, we're talking. <coughs> let, me, let me read this to you. Finally, my brethren, be strong yes. in the Lord and the power yes. of his mind. Put Amen. on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. But we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, That's but against right. principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts and wicked places, Amen. in the heavenly places. Yes. Therefore, take on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand. Amen. Therefore, and it goes on and it tells us what to put on. Amen. Amen. 
girt your loins with the truth. You know, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, you know, the helmet of salvation. We wear these things. You don't see it on me, but I've got it on. Amen. And you don't take it off. It's on you all the time. Amen. Amen. So praise God. But it's there. So man your battle stations, child of God, blow the trumpet. <laughs> Sound your alarm. Stay battle ready. In Joel 2 1, it says, The day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound your alarm in the holy mountain. Yes. Let all inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. For it is at hand. Amen. The day of the Lord is coming. God has called his church to battle, to fight the good fight of faith. Put on the whole armor, stay battle ready. Why? The enemy is on the attack. He's a full-time devil, and we must be full-time battle ready Christians. Amen. If you have your handout, did you see your handout? Mm -hmm. I wrote that just for me. <laughs> 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 What's it saying? Now let's see. Hell is for real. Yes, yes, it is. It says, don't play being a Christian because the devil doesn't play being the devil. He's for real. And then the second part says, part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Right. If he's full-time and you're part-time, you ain't no match. That's right. You got to be for real. You got to be full-time. Amen. You got to keep yourself strong yeah. in him. The Bible says, I can do some things through oh, Christ. No, 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 no. Oh, no. It says all. I can do part-time yeah. things through uh -oh. Christ. All things. I can do all things through Christ. Come on, correct me now. Yeah. I can do all things all through Christ things. who strengthens me. Yes. And I, I have to get in Him. And He's going to get into me. Yes. Amen. i got to get a word in me. See? So we can't yeah. use... We can't pretend like the sons of Sceva. Yeah. <laughs> they try to fight a spiritual battle against the, the enemy. And says, wait a minute. Oh, gosh. We know Jesus. Uh-huh. Paul, we know. Paul, Paul, we know. <laughs> but who are you? <laughs> Don't come in here. Don't step in front of the enemy Has pretending to be oh somebody. Oh a full-time Christian. Oh, Lord. They know. They know. Amen. When a right. man was out in the... Uh, <clears throat> in the graveyard mm -hmm. and he saw Jesus come yes. <clears throat> he ran to him and he says why are you here why are you <laughs> messing with me right now it's not my time it's not time yet <laughs> he came he, he was honoring him and he came he saw he saw Jesus and he come to Jesus mm -hmm. and Jesus says who are you he already knew he asked him who are you he said legion was legion many were many mm -hmm. many this man was ripping chains off of him yeah they couldn't hold him they couldn't hold him down mm -hmm. there was a herd i guess that's what you call them oh. herd of pigs <laughs> just feeding over there on the side mm -hmm. and there's only two thousand of them two thousand of them and he says they ask permission he says if you well you're gonna cast us out why don't you cast us into those pigs over mm -hmm. there they need a, 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 a body. <laughs> yes, they do. So he says, all he said was go. <laughs> he says, go. Yes. And they went into the pig. Those nice, peaceful pigs that was eating, all of a sudden got all wild and crazy. <laughs> and they took off crazy. Over and went cliff. over the cliff and died. Yeah. yeah. They said, Brown. over 2,000 in one person. Just think about that. Spiritual battle. Amen. You need the Lord. We need the Word. Yes, we do. <laughs> and he says, if it's cast out, uh -huh. fill it back up. Yeah. Because if you don't fill it back up, ah. it's going to come back mm -hmm. with seven stronger ah. than the one, the last one. Yeah. So we need to fill it in. Get the Word in you. Yeah. And get the Word to stay in there. Yes. Amen. So when you need to use it, it's ready to come out. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, Put this <laughs> somewhere where you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't give you this one. But the giants in front of you is never bigger than your God. And, and God most of the time, God. we magnify the giants, the problems, mm -hmm. more than we magnify our God. Yeah. Nothing is bigger than our God. Amen. We need to remember that we need to reverse that and 
let our problems, our giants, know how big our God is. Amen. Amen. Just remember that. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's a freebie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why? Because the enemy's on the attack. He's a yes. full-time devil. Yes, he is. He wants to devour you. The Bible says uh -huh. his mission is to do what? John 10, 10. Steal, steal kill, kill, and destroy. That's right. Any of these things popping up on you, mm -hmm. <clears throat> no. That the enemy is yeah. going to try to pull you down, take you down right. yeah. on a daily basis. Okay, on a daily basis. So, but Jesus says, I have come, the other part of the verse, I've come that you might have life and life more uh -huh. abundantly. Yeah. But we need to be on his side. You know what? Jesus' side is the winning side. Yes. I don't want to be on the losing side. That's right. <laughs> we don't. Praise God. Yeah. As believers, when we got saved, we joined the Lord's army. I already told you that. We're on the winning team. Yes. We're called to battle. Amen. And with God, we win. Yes, As we soldiers are. for Jesus, we're engaged in spiritual battle yes, daily. We, are. we must never go to battle without Him. That's right. Have the armor ready. Have the armor ready. Keep your armor on at all times. Amen. I've got. Let's go here. Let's go to Ephesians 16. Start Ephesians 16. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We started at Ephesians 16. Oops. Lost a few things. Thank you. Okay, mine says this. I've got the new King James, or King James anyway. Uh -huh. My thoughts are the whole armor of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in who? In the Lord. In the Lord and the power of His might. Yes. You love and put on the whole armor of God that yes. you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. And 12 says, for we wrestle, wrestle against our neighbors. No, uh, we wrestle not. Oh. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against, against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high yes. places. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. And thirteen says, "Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, yes. that you may be able to withstand the evil days, and having done all to stand, you do what? Stand. Lay down. Stand. 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 <laughs> no, stand. Woo. Fourteen. Stand therefore, having your loins girded with the truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. Fifteen. And your feet shod with the preparation of gospel of peace. Yes. Sixteen. Above all." Take on the shield of faith where you shall be able to yes. quench uh, oh. some, oh. No, oh. Oh, some oh. All, the, all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Yes. He's going to uh -uh. shoot them oh. at you. Mm -mm. He's going to use, he, he'll do it or he'll use somebody. Mm. No. I told you, <laughs> if you're not being used of God, you're going to catch yourself on the wrong team. Yes. You better get yourself on the right team. Yes, man. <laughs> Because you're going to be used whether you know it or not. Yeah. So you better, might as well be on the winning team. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know these That's teams good. that play on a, uh, every Sunday uh, NFL? None of them practice to lose. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, <laughs> they sure all don't. practice to win. Right. That's right. They do. So we know we're on God's winning team. Amen. But we got to stay on His winning stay. team. That's it. Got to stay. Amen. When we've done all this to stand, Stand. Yeah. I'm standing on the winning team. Amen. Yeah. I know where the losing team is. I don't want to go there. Amen. I don't want to visit there. Yes. No. Oh, where do we need? Quenching all the fire darts of the week. Yes. And 17. And take the helmet of salvation. Yes. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word, word of, God. of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the, the spirit. spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance. And supplication for all saints. Amen. And for me, the utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly. Yes. To make known the mystery, mystery of, of the gospel. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. And this is, uh, in case you don't know, I'll let you know. <laughs> in Corinthians, it tells us, St. Corinthians 5 17, that you're a new creature now. Yes. Okay? New things 
Yes. Old you, the old things are gone yes. and new things are in. Yes. So you're, you, and now you're a minister of reconciliation. Yes. You are ambassador for God. You're yes. his mouthpiece. So you prepare yourself because when you open your mouth, these things should be coming out of you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When yeah. he says, minister to this person, say something to this person, do this, mm -hmm. pray for this person. Mm -hmm. You need to do it. Amen. Because he's telling you, it's not, well, something told me. No. <laughs> it's called the Holy Spirit. The Holy, Holy Spirit <laughs> is not a something. The Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. Yeah. Father, yeah. Son, Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit. Ghost, Holy yes. Spirit. Holy <laughs> the Holy Spirit, he says, yes. when I leave, I'm going to leave you. Mm-hmm. A comforter. I'm going to leave you a helper. Yes, a helper. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. when he's telling you what to do, don't say, oh, I can't do it. That's right. You can, because he says we can do all oh, things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. And all we need to do is open up, step mm -hmm. out, open up, and deliver what he wants Amen. us to do. Amen. Praise God. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. God is good. Amen. He's yes, good yes. Pastor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. What did I leave off? Hallelujah. Put on the whole army. Oh, yes. we read it. Yes, we did. So we are to engage in this uh, spiritual battle. Amen. With him we win, without him we lose. That's right. We must <coughs> never go into battle without our protective gear, which we just talked about, the whole army of God. That's right. Going to battle with a winning attitude. Just like I said, these teams <coughs> that play on every day or every Sunday, <laughs> They don't go into this game with a losing attitude. No. They go in there with a winning attitude. Right. Every day when you wake up and you open those two beautiful gifts God gave you, I'm winning. Mm. Don't magnify your problems of what's waiting you out there. That's magnify right. your God that is right before you yeah. and you're spending time with Him. And you're getting yourself all pumped up yeah. and ready to go. Amen. You know, uh, we used to call it pep rallies. <laughs> they you still yourself, call it pep rallies. Okay, when you get yourself all pepped up and ready to step out in the battlefield. Amen. Amen. A winning attitude. Amen. You know, David says, come on, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go at it. Amen. All the soldiers, King Saul, they weren't even talking about God. They were all mesmerized by the problem in front of them. Yeah. So it's don't be <laughs> don't be magnifying your problem when you have a bigger God in you. Amen. Amen. So Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, come on. Praise God. See, when you when you wake up and you open those two beautiful gifts, mm -hmm. the spirit the spiritual world, the evil world will say, She's up. He's up. <laughs> I am checking well, out. Sure. I'm out of here. <laughs> ah, I don't want to deal with this person anymore. Amen. I got beat up enough already. Mm. So we're going into battle with a winning attitude. Yes. Not with a losing or defeated attitude. You know, you could be a Christian and still be defeated. Yeah. Until you put the word to use. Yes. And know that the word works if you work release the word. it. Work the word. Amen. And you have to release it. You know you have all this power in you, but if you don't release it, it won't do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have this uh, word, a seed, and when you sow a seed, what does it do? Mm -hmm. It grows. It grows. Yeah. But you got to release it, and you got to plant it, you got to sow it, and this word is going to grow. This word yeah. is going to grow. So Thank we need to know. release that. Renew your mind with the word of God. Win the battle of the mind. Mm -hmm. Win the battle of the mind. Where is the battle, spiritual oh battle going on? The you know. mind is the spiritual battle. You get into all these thoughts bombarding you from everywhere. Mm -hmm. You see negative things. You hear yeah. negative things. Yes. You're around negative things. Yes. So you got to be careful, you know, as you go into the, in the world, all these people that you work with, all these oh. people that you visit with, they're not saved. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't confess Jesus no. on a daily basis. No. So you hear things. Yeah. And you have to cleanse yourself. Yes, you do. Give yourself a spiritual bath. Amen. Renew your mind with the word of God. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to start acting, oh, talking, and being like the Just world. Like okay, so we don't we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. It tells us what to do. Mm. It tells us the word of God tells us exactly what to do. Yes. Win the battle of the mind Amen. with a positive winning attitude, not yeah. a negative losing. Yes. Attitude. Get rid of it. Praise Get, God. 
I heard someone say it like this, get rid of the stinking thinking. Thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it's there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, I used to be a cousin champ. I'm not anymore. Mm -hmm. It comes this far. <laughs> and I stopped. <laughs> no more. <laughs> but it doesn't mean I think I don't think it. I think yeah. it. And it's there. Yeah. But I won't let it out. I won't release it. I haven't got it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, hey, listen. God's still working on all of us. So none of, listen, none of us are perfect. You go read your Bible, and you find out all the people God used are not perfect. Uh -huh. But He still wants to use you. Why? Right? Yes. As you make yourself available, He wants to use you. Yes. So make yourself available. Don't yeah. be afraid to say, "What? Well, I'm here, Lord. Yeah, I've got some weaknesses. I've got this. I've got that. You know, you're still working on me." But I, I want to do my best for you. Yeah. Well, he wants to use you. I'll take you. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's time Amen. to step up. It's time yeah. to step out. He wants to use Praise all of God. us. Yes, he does. <laughs> Y'all, hurry, Lord. Work, work, on, work on Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> You're a winner, not He's a loser. This time. You're a winner, <laughs> not a loser. Say this with me. I'm a winner. I'm, I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. All right. Great. Yeah. You it says, I can do, I can do all, all things all through things. Christ, Christ. who strengthens me. See, you can yes. do this on a daily basis. We have a rack over there full of these things that you can go and grab. Of course, you have your Bible. Yeah. All we need to do is say, well, God never talks to me. <coughs> well, you never open your Bible. <laughs> you got to open your Bible once That's in a it. while, you know, not just when you go to move it to dust. <laughs> you got to open it up, spend time with him, you know. He'll talk with you. Yes, he will. Say this with me. I'm God's. I'm God's. Favorite child. Favorite child. Yes, I am. He wants to talk with you. You're his favorite child. He wants to talk with you all yes. the time. Not just sometimes, but all the time. All the time. So, yeah. he's not the one that's holding back. That's right. Look in the mirror and say, uh -huh. I'm the one. I've got to deal with this person here. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, praise God. Thank you, Lord. His word is the truth. And the Bible says, His truth will set you free. Yes. Amen. He also says, He is the way, the truth, and the and life. life. Nobody goes to the Father except through Him. Yes. So when you bring the Word, you're bringing Him. You're bringing the way. You're bringing the truth. You're bringing the life to somebody yes. that needs to be released. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. We already read this, but I'll read it to you again. St. Corinthians 10, 3 through 6. King James says, Lord, walk. In the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Uh -huh. But who do we want to attack the most? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. The person that just says something to you. Mm, the boy. person that is closest mm. to you. That's what we want to attack. Yeah. But mm. when you're full of his word and you're full of him and your fellowship with him, you know where to direct your weapons. Yes. Where do you direct your shots at? Yes. The you. enemy. The enemy comes to steal, kill, kill this war. Yeah. And it tells us we do not war against flesh. Where the weapons of warfare are not kind of but mighty through God mighty. to the pulling down a yes. stronghold. You know those strongholds yeah. that try to get hold of you. Uh-huh. Says I I cancel those. Yes. I just release them in Jesus' Thank name, you, you know. Casting down imaginations. Where is the imaginations? Mm. In the mind. The man with you. He's always, you're always thinking your mind's going 100 miles an hour. Oh my gosh. So listen, we got to put a sign outside the door later. <laughs> I mean, before you walk in, leave all those things outside. <laughs> Get your mind in order so when you come in here, all my mind is on you, Lord. Yeah. All my mind is on Amen. what message you have for me. Because I yes. want this message from me. Yes, Amen. thank you, Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Casting down imaginations and every yes. high thing high that exalts itself yes. against the knowledge of God. Amen. Listen, Lucifer, an archangel in heaven, mm. he tried to put himself above Oh God. my goodness. Yes. Wrong thing. In heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, these things pop up. So we need to delete it. Get, mm. get rid of it. Amen. And bring it into captivity. Yes. Bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ yes. and having in uh, and having in uh, readiness to reserve to, to uh, excuse me to revenge all disobedience yes. when your obedience is fulfilled. Mm. So we fight 
Um, if you haven't read your scripture uh, break for today, mm. this is what I put in there. Mm. There's a scripture break in Facebook that I put every day. It tells us, mm. fight the right enemy. Mm. It's not your neighbor. It's not your neighbor. It's not your, your friend. It's the enemy, the devil. The mm -hmm. Bible says you only have one, one enemy. Mm -hmm. His name is devil. Diablo, whatever you want to call him, but he is mm -hmm. your enemy. So we got to direct our weapons mm -hmm. at him. As, uh, Isaiah 54, uh, 17 says, No weapon that is formed against you yes. shall prosper. That's right. So no matter what, who said what, <laughs> be careful who you share with yeah. or who you hear from because you don't want to hear from a defeated person. That's right. And you don't want to take no defeated information in you oh, and put it in you. Yes. <laughs> no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. That's so right. every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. Mm -hmm. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Yes. And their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Amen. So it's so important that we renew our minds yes. with the word of God. Amen. Because Amen. You, you're out in a negative world yeah. and you hear all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Whatever you turn on, TV, radio, uh, you're around a crowd, be careful. Oh my gosh. Just oh. renew your mind. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. Don't take all the cares mm -hmm. of the world. That was not meant for you to take. That's right. You give it to him, cast it on him, and leave it there. Amen. You know? The hardest part is bring it to him. Okay? Yeah. So you give it to him now. Step out in faith by leaving it there and don't take it back. Yes. You know? Crazy. I told you this before. You go to the dumpster and dump all your trash out. Uh-huh. You never go back and take it back. Oh no. Oh Lord no. Oh. So why do you want to take all the negative things, all the things in the world, and, and take it back from God? Said, well, you're not moving fast enough. Mm. Just leave it in His hands. He knows what to do with it better than oh, you. Oh yes, thank you, Lord. <laughs> why do you think He says cast it on Him? Uh -huh. He knows what to do because He wants us to stay focused <laughs> on fulfilling what He's called us to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Praise God. Thank Again, you. He says Deuteronomy 24 says the Lord your God is going with you to help you fight wow. against your enemies. He will help you win. Yes. He's going with you. He says in Hebrews 13, 5, let your conduct be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So you feel lonely? It's not because he's not reaching out to you. It's That's because right. you're not reaching out to uh -huh. him. Come on, you got to feel he's there all the yes. time with you. So all you have to do is, is, is be there for him Amen. and talk to him. Yes. Amen. Praise so God. he's with us. We're on a winning team. Moses, out in the desert. You never been. All these, the army, I mean the people of God delivered mm -hmm. from Egypt are with Moses. Moses is the leader. And he's standing between <laughs> the army of Egypt and the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, what do I do? <laughs> He calls on God. God tells him what to do. Mm -hmm. He raises his staff and what? Water See, splits. Water splits. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So what is your problem? Mm -hmm. All you have to do is go to him. Mm -hmm. Go to him. He'll tell you what to do. Amen. Amen. Whatever you can't solve, you know, just go to him. He says, I don't know why I'm wrestling with this because That's I can right. just give it to him. That's Amen. right. And he, he's yes. right there for you. Amen. Give it to him. Thank you, Lord. No, I bet you Moses was so happy when that seed parted. <laughs> <laughs> Just parted in time for God's people to cross oh, and get all the way across, and the armies start going across. And all of a sudden, it just comes down on That's it. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Joshua at the Jericho walls mm -hmm. was impossible for man, was not impossible for God. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> David is facing Goliath we talked about mm. the Hebrew children throw him in the fire mm. say wait a minute we threw three but I can't afford mm -hmm. we got a problem here Houston <laughs> 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 how can we throw three and now we got four oh, Jesus. he's with you you know oh, when the enemy my. sees you when oh, you're no. full of God yes. when you're full of the word oh, and you spend yeah. time with him oh, when the enemy sees you yeah he sees Jesus. Yes. 
He said, I don't want to mess with that person. Mm -hmm. You'll go to the next one. Amen. You'll go find a weak, leaky no, Christian yes. <laughs> who's been confessing oh, a name of faith. Leaky Amen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, this is what we do, church, and we're closing. Thank you. Second <laughs> Corinthians 6 7 says, Therefore yes. I remind you, stir up the gifts uh -huh. of God. What's it say? Stir up the gifts of God. Where? That's, That's in, you. in you. Okay? Through laying yes. on of hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and sound mind. Why are you still fearful? Uh. Cast it on him, give it to him. Give full of the word. Get rid of the fear uh -huh. and get full of the faith. Amen. But he says you got gifts in you. Yeah. You know what the world's been telling you? You're not uh -huh. good enough. Oh yeah. Jealous people are telling you you're not oh, good yeah. enough. Because they uh -huh. want to promote themselves. Mm -hmm. They want to see themselves above you and keep you down. Mm -hmm. Don't let people well, don't let the enemy yeah. or the people he uses yes, to that's keep right. you down. That's it. Because God didn't make you to stay down. God that's made it. you to rise up. Yes, he did. You know, like he was Joseph. Yes. Every time his brothers even buried him in a hole, mm. God builds him up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, he wants to do the same with you. What God did for them, he'll do for you. Yes. Amen. That's what he wants to do. So be positive of the, about yes. this. Remember, Satan is a defeated foe. Yes, we must is. not allow a defeated foe to defeat us. That's right. Amen. Start every day with a winning attitude. That's why, right. amen. Yeah. You're a winner. <laughs> You're a winner. Change the way you live. Yeah. Uh, live a victorious life. Amen. Do not live a defeated life any longer. That's right. Amen. Go to the next one. <clears throat> On this Veterans Day, let us recognize the service and sacrifice of our brave veterans and their families. Keep going. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Some people dream dreams. Some people live dreams. Some people defend the dream. Yeah. God bless the, the defenders. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank so it costs. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. No hero. A hero. Is, a hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger, bigger. than oneself. Mm -hmm. A veteran, whether active duty, discharged, retired, or reserved, is someone who, at one point in his or her life, wrote a blank check to uh, their government for an amount of up to and including his or her life. Too many people, too many people don't realize this. Thank you, veterans, for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a little poppy, as red as red can be. To show that I remember those who fought to make me free. Amen. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Oh, you can yes. stop right there. Amen. Thank you. So yes. let us pray. Father, we just thank you for your word, Father God. We thank you that we are our Father God. We thank you, first of all, Lord Jesus, for being our greatest veteran, Father. Yes. Thank you. We pray for all those that are watching right now, Father God, if they have never accepted you. All you have to do is just say, Lord Jesus, I receive. I confess my sins, and I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I want to join your winning team, and he'll receive you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we just thank you for all your people here, Father God. I thank you that you yes. have called them, you have equipped them, Father thank God, you, and you have called them. And they can do all things through Christ who strength us and Father. And we give you all the praise, glory, and yes. honor in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.